at the Kingdom of the Saxons for this particular period. So we are talking particularly for this burial, the Pritual Princely Burial, 570 to 605 AD. Now, in terms of the name of Prittowell, we understand that Prittowell comes from the Old English, means either place of the sparkling water, place of the babbling brook. So you could refer to the brook that's actually going through the Prittowell Priory, or they believe there may actually have been a spring somewhere in the area as well. How are we doing? Good morning. What do we know of the Prittowell Prince? Um, uh, there's, a, there's a mound nearby. <laughs> yeah, oh, shockingly that's, very little. That's, 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 that's as far as we know. <laughs> um, no, absolutely, that's a great start. So, do you know where the Saxon King Pub is? Yes. Yeah. So, if you follow the bend round there on your left, that's essentially what you're looking at here. The excavations that took place in 2003. So, it was conducted by the Museum of London. Are you guys local? Do you know the yes. area? So, you may remember the people in the tree houses many years ago. Yes. At the same time, they were trying the, the campaign against the road widening was taking place. This excavation was going on. What they found was probably one of the most important burials from the Anglo-Saxon period. Uh, the earliest evidence of Christianity from the Anglo-Saxon period. These beautiful gold foil crosses here, they were placed over the eyes of the dead person. And again, what we've got essentially is a chamber burial. So it's someone who's been buried in a wooden chamber on the ground with all of these goods, we call them grave goods. Basically, if you've got grave goods, it's generally a pagan burial. So the big question we get asked is, was this person pagan or were they Christian? With the pagan objects you've got there, they've all got sort of elements of symbolism. Each object means something to that community. And very much at this time, when this person died, buried in this chamber in the ground with all these beautiful objects, it's all about the community gathering around at the funeral. So it's a tragic event, a young person's lost their life, we believe they were late teens to early twenties, mostly likely to have been a male individual as well. But that community's gathering and whoever's buried this person is probably going to be the next ruler. So they want to show what power and prestige they've got. Right. And there's an element in this, if, if we can put this amazing wealth into the ground, imagine how powerful we are. Imagine what else we So again, it's, it's symbolism, it's a grand thing to do. What we were really lucky with is when they sealed the chamber, it would have been a wooden ceiling on top, placed the burial mound above it. Over about the course of the archaeology speaking, about 150 years, sandy soil from the area filtered in through the slats. You almost created like an hourglass effect and had like a pyramid that went over the top of some of these objects. So we were very lucky in that you've got these beautiful objects still intact, didn't suffer damage from that collapse as they might have done in there. It also means that these objects here are still hanging on the original hooks on the walls where they would have been placed, which I think is absolutely remarkable. So it tells us so much about the period itself. Um, do you guys know where the name South End comes from? So it's um, essentially the South End of Prittowell, is what we believe. It's South End itself has been around for a few hundred years in terms of the name. Prittowell is your historic heart. Right? Prittowell comes from either the place of the bubbling water or the place of the sparkling water. You might refer to the brook that goes through the middle of the park. Or well, they believe there might be a spring somewhere underneath the park. So place of the sparkling water. Got a royal burial mound over there. We've got St Mary's Church, which has got an Anglo Saxon arch, so it might be a 7th century church as well. And then later on in the 12th century, this amazing Cluniac Priory that we're all sort of standing on today. So clearly, something important is happening in the area. Um, the people at the time would have been part of the East Saxon Kingdom, then East Saxon, that's where we get Essex from. Kingdom of the East Saxons. I've talked to an awful lot of you. If you guys got any questions, <laughs> I get into a stream of consciousness. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Considering I've lived here my whole life, I didn't realise that really Prittowell is the heart of it, and then obviously South Ends will come around it, so that's really, really interesting. Yeah, it's, it's some really <laughs> it's historic areas. So, so you've got places like um, South Church Hall, one of our other sites as well. Yeah. Under South Church, there was probably an earlier Anglo Saxon art. Definitely going to blow away at some point today, are we? <laughs> Um, South Church Hall had an arch, uh, sorry, a, a hall underneath it. You've got.